Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nightmare Collective. I'm Chris, thanks for stopping by and watching another horror haul. So, <coughs> right out of the way, I am recovering from a sinus infection, so I do apologize if there's any coughing. You know, it's been a rough, a little over a week. So, um, finally getting back to making some videos, so I wanted to knock this out before the end of the month. All right, so let's get into it right now. So, some of this is gonna be some older stuff from the beginning of February that I just missed, but uh, let's get into it. I got a bunch here. So the first thing I picked up was the Mondo Steelbook for Friday the 13th. So there's the front, there's the back, and there's the inner part. I did recently do a video where I showed off all my Friday the 13th Steelbooks, so I'll link that up below so you can check that out and see all the other ones that I've got. All right, so I picked up Scream Factory's Dawn of the Dead. There's that. Uh, this is a really good transfer. I might be doing a 4K review on that soon. I'm just not sure. I'll have to look into my schedule. Um, then I picked up Screen Factory's Web Hotep. I have not watched this yet, so I've just been super busy with a bunch of other stuff and work, so I do look forward to watching this. All right, I picked up the Vinegar Syndrome's From Beyond on 4K. Uh, this is awesome, I love this movie, and I'm excited to dive into all the special features on this disc. All right. The next thing is a weird one, but it's Frostbiter. This is just a Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome, but this is a uh, very low budget Wendigo movie and I'm there for it. So uh, I'm super into this. I might talk about this at some point because it's just a lot of fun and dumb, but uh, I really like that. All right, I picked up Ouija. I did do a 4K review for this, so I'll link that up there so you can check that out. Um, I picked up Freaky from Scream Factory. Uh, I did a review for this as well, so I'll link that up there as well, so you can check that out. I got Warm Bodies from Lionsgate on Steelbook. This is pretty cool. It's a really nice Steelbook. I mean, they don't wet down at all with these. They are incredible. You know what, I did a, I did a review of this as well. Uh, these is back to back to back reviews. Okay, so I'll link that as well. So, and I'll just put the playlist for all my 4K reviews at the very end, so you can kind of just go through all those if you want. Uh, I picked up the standard version of Event Horizon. I missed the Steelbook. I would maybe eventually like to get it, but I at least wanted to own it, so I picked up the standard edition. I picked up The Thing, finally. I don't know how I'd been missing this, but I finally picked that up. I picked up Violent Night in February. I haven't opened it yet, but um, I did really enjoy this movie. I do have a review up on the channel, so definitely check that out if you're curious to see what my thoughts on that movie are. All right, I picked up the Vestron Dennis Collection 1 and 2. Um, I really like these movies. They are B-movie schlock, and they're super fun. Corbin Burnson is great in these. Um, I think he's gone, like, a little religious crazy lately and made a bunch of, like weird movies that he's directed, but I don't know, man. Um, I did Train to Basan. I finally picked this up. I really love this movie. I'm not a huge, like, zombie fan, so me picking up, like, two zombie movies in a month is very weird, but uh, I do like both those movies. All right, then I picked up the Second Sight version of The Witch, so I could do my A24 horror series. So I'll link that up below. Also, if you haven't checked that out, I'm going through all the A24 horror movies throughout the rest of this year and maybe beyond, depends on how long it takes me to do it. I just have one up so far. My next one will be The Lighthouse. And then finally, for my Scream reviews, I finally picked up the Scream 5 Steelbook. I was like, you know what? I, I need to get this so I can cover it. But, and I should be getting my Scream 1, they're the re-releasing the Scream 1 Steelbook. I missed last year, I did was able to get the Scream 2 one, but I should have that one soon. Uh, I am moving, so hopefully it should come before I move, but uh, I'll show that off probably at the end of next month whenever I get all my pickups for March. But that's all I've got, guys. Um, that's pretty much all I picked up. I, I also do want to kind of tell you guys if you like these videos, I do have another channel that I started that is all like the other physical media that I do and just regular movie reviews that I'm gonna see. I'm probably not gonna go back like I do on this channel and cover old movies, but I am gonna be covering current movies that I am interested in. So if that's something that you think you'd be interested in, I'll link that channel at the end. It's called Beyond Moon Media. It's just starting up, so I really appreciate 
appreciate it if you guys kind of check that stuff out, like it, share it, subscribe to that if that's something that you'd be interested in. All right, that's all I've got. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. It's just a small kind of look into like my taste and stuff. So definitely recommend checking out all the other videos on my channel. I appreciate everybody for watching. Okay, so I'll link some videos here at the end that you can check out. I'll link my playlist of all my 4K reviews that I've done. And then I'll link my latest review. I went and saw Cocaine Bear. It is a weird, fun kind of B movie that I think you guys would like. And so definitely check all those out. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll talk to you guys later.